And another shooting over the weekend left a 20 year old Norfolk State University student dead. Police say someone shot and killed Jahari George Saturday night. Friends of the engineering student are remembering him as a creative young man whose passion has shaken the college community. Dana Smith has more on what happened and how George's loved ones are remembering him tonight. He was a familiar face to everyone, so it is it's still kind of sad. The Norfolk State University family has suffered the loss of a fellow Spartan. That's the message posted on NSU's official Facebook page as the campus community mourns the loss of 20-year-old sophomore Jahari George. Surprise, and I only say that because of the fact that, um, that people will go to the extent of doing stuff like this. George died in a shooting Saturday night. It happened on Gatehouse Road, which is just down the street from NSU's campus. Norfolk Police Department investigators say just before 11.30 p.m., officers found George badly hurt inside a car. Medics pronounced him dead at the hospital. Since freshman year, he has been um, one of my best friends, one of my closest friends. NSU junior Carlos Tankard is Jahari George's roommate. He said he and other classmates are still trying to wrap their heads around what happened. He described George as a driven student with a passion for photography. He was a very creative person, a very strategic, a very intentional person. In a statement, a spokesperson for NSU's Student Government Association called George a beloved member of NSU. He pursued a degree in engineering and served as public relations chair for the association. Sophomore Aloran Gilchrist said people on campus are shaken by the loss. Jahari is just very creative and very diligent. He takes every, he took everything that he did very seriously. He's kind. He's lighthearted. Dana Smith, 13 News Now. A school spokesperson said in a statement that Norfolk police already have a person of interest in custody in the shooting. We asked investigators about that, but we have not yet heard back.